All right. I believe the words you're looking for are great googly moogly. <clears throat> As you can see, just from this one screen, hopefully, there's a lot going on. <laughs> okay, I've let it run like this for a little while. I haven't actually even unpaused it yet, so you'll notice that when I do unpause, the view will, like, zoom somewhat. Um, you may notice, uh, Hardcore Ender Expansion, Ender Compendium Key conflicts with Night Vision. Please fix. I'm gonna work on that in a moment. Uh, void Decay. Yes, I do have Void Decay. <laughs> I'm offline here. I'm at home. I don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, vein Miner. Um, client Keybind set to activate. I'm pressing the key. It, it's actually not got a keybind in my configuration currently. Um, because I'm not using it. Um, inventory tweaks. I do have inventory tweaks. Yes, I know. It's awesome. Um, aroma core. Yes, I have the mining dimension. I know. Again, it's awesome. Can you blame me? Um, up here, we have a tiredness meter. Okay? And yes, that flower has nether rack. Okay, clearly that is a giant flower, and clearly that is netherrack. Here we have another giant flower with more netherrack. <laughs> and lava! And flowers! On stuff that is not dirt or grass. As a matter of fact, if you look closely, you will recognize soul sand. That's right, folks. Welcome to the Infernal Rift. There's a reason it's called Infernal Rift. It's a hell dimension. <laughs> okay? So, let's get this hell ride underway. Um, one thing to note, <clears throat> my computer is lagging. Like, crazy lagging right now. Okay? I'm hoping you guys are able to actually see at full speed, but like, as you can tell, lag. <laughs> no, the video has not crashed, do not worry, that's actually my laptop just running really, really slowly. I'm still seeing this menu. Okay, this is one of the biggest problems that I have, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is, like, why I just, I always put off actually testing it. Because I can't even have three right now to show you that I'm getting zero frames per second. Oh, that shows. The top right, we have my mini-map. Lovely. So here we have lava. And hey, look, there's another flower in the distance. You know, giant flower with lava and nether rack. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be fun. With quotation marks. Yeah, this is going to suck. <laughs> I think I even said it to hard. Oh, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be really crazy. Okay. Oh. God, my computer does not like running Minecraft with this many mods. And on top of that, I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, um, as you can see, I'm standing on soul sand, there's lava in front of me, there's netherrack in front of me, the netherrack is 
what the giant flowers are apparently made out of. The lava is the leaves of the flower. Um, by the way, it's also the pollen, I believe. Um, don't worry, that is only during the world generation. That's not what it's actually going to turn into. So, if you do manage to craft it, it will actually craft the actual item. Okay, I'm not, like, that insane. But, as you can see, um, well, it's going. <laughs> it's really going. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. Wow, it's still zoomed in. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It's still zoomed in, I can tell, because I know how far I can reach. I've played enough Minecraft to know that that's not actually how far away a block is supposed to appear. Um... Oh goody, I'm starting to actually be able to move. So yeah, let's just have a quick look around. Um, I'm looking up for some reason. Come on, look down, look down. There's an aura node. You may or may not be able to make that out. Um, oh, there's the soul sand I'm standing on. <laughs> there is a beehive over there. Um, yeah. I really hope that none of these aura nodes are hungry nodes. Because that would suck to spawn at. <laughs> that would suck a lot. Okay, I'm going to try walking towards this water now. Because, well, that, that might be a little bit better. Standing in water. Might not. I don't know. Um, I see stone. I hope that's actually stone. If not, that's gonna suck. <laughs> that would suck. Um, anyway. I'm still not really actually moving yet. That's how much I'm lagging. If you can hear me, probably pressing the key. You know, it, it doesn't matter if I'm using the laptop's keyboard or the plug-in keyboard. It really doesn't. Um, I'll leave them off this mouse pad. My laptop's lagging so bad that it can't even tell that I'm trying to turn off the touchpad. <laughs> It's horrible. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is, this is lag, but you guys can tell, you know, first few screenshots, I guess you want to call them, of, you know, what I've got going on. You can tell there's some pneumatic craft going on from that potion plant on the left side of the screen. Just a bit above the uh, the beehive. Um, we obviously have vanilla flowers, as you can tell. Uh, I believe you saw the flower craft flowers. And uh, by the way, that whitish looking yellowish thing to the left of the pneumatic craft flower, that's endstone. Have fun. <laughs> most of the um, most of the stone is replaced by endstone. So, dirt and sand got turned into soul sand. Or no, not sand. Uh, dirt and grass. Dirt and grass got turned into soul sand. Um, I'm not sure if I changed sand. I might have left sand. But, yeah, it, it's a surface of soul sand on top of end stone. Um, I still haven't moved. I'm at like negative frames per second here. <laughs> Let me try something. Um, I 
open that. And let me open. <sighs> Where is that? Uh, come, on, come on. There we go. Okay, now, let's see, I can increase the priority of this. Above normal would be nice. Wow. Still max. Okay, well, that didn't help much at all. Oh, it's moving! Huzzah! Joy, what have you? <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I can only spare two gigs of RAM, and it's only allocated 1,770 for whatever reason, but I'm already using, like, all of it, you know? And that's pretty bad. That is terrible. I'm using all of my RAM, okay? I'm getting one frame per second or less while paused. That is horrible. That is horrendous. That is terrible. That is shitty to the extreme. Okay, my guy gets tired. How am I going to be able to run to a bed? I can't even run. <laughs> Yeah. Wait for it to finish its queuing of stuff that it's done. And let's look at my options. See if we can turn anything down, right? <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> okay, I am on hard. Oh my. Um, <laughs> video setting. Graphics fast, smooth lighting off, 3D anaglyph off, GUI scale set to normal, meaning it's not auto, clouds are off, full screen off, MIP map levels are off, anthroscopic filtering is off, use VSync is off, particles are already set to minimum, brightness is set to bright so you guys can see just fine, view bobbing is off, frame rate is capped at 20 FPS, render distance is two chunks, which is as small as I can get it. So basically, Everything is as fast as it gets. And I know you people with headphones are probably going to be like, Ah, my ears! I'm bleeding! Well, you're not bleeding. Just chill, okay? <laughs> um, I'll set that to half. Because I know you guys are probably, like, wondering why I'm torturing you with these clicking noises. You know? Um, that actually still sounds really loud. Which one is that? That one, uh, which one would that be? Would that be blocks? No, it's not blocks, is it? Nope, it's not blocks. Okay, ambient or environment? No. Players? Nope, it's not players. Music. I hope that's not music. Duke or note blocks. Nope. And the creatures? No creatures. Is it weather? Is it listed under weather? Wow. Okay, so apparently that annoyingly loud clicking sound effect is hard-coded into the noises of the game and you cannot adjust it. Which is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Who did that? <laughs> yeah, see, everything's off and I can still hear it. Okay, that is an annoying sound effect. Wheel 
Oh, they are teens. I'll set it to 25. It shouldn't be too overkill, but... Yeah. I do still want to hear my game. Okay, so yeah, I definitely need to start running now. <laughs> I hear lava! <laughs> oh, jeez, look at that entity count. Whoa, there's lava in front of me. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> I'm about to jump off a cliff. I'm going to avoid burning to death. I'm burning. <laughs> burning. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is going to happen so much. Oh. I'm going to burn to death so many times. Traveling merchant drowned. Well, it's a good thing to know that I was not the first death on the server. Even if it is single player server. Okay, you can see in the distance there's flames, stuff is already burning down. No, there's now 167 entities. Okay, I am now officially in water, I think. Oh, I found an allium. It apparently popped off of another rack while I was fleeing for my life. Good for me. Good for it, too. <laughs> it's, the, it's the first survivor, so to speak, <laughs> of all of that. I'm going to try and pull up the What Am I Looking At interface, also known as Walia. seem to wish to pull up. It should be insert. Well, that's a lot of lava. That was above me. That's where I spawned. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. A good thing I ran. <laughs> The potion plant popped off. I want to grab me one of those. A, they're good for pink dye, which is good if you ever do manage to get pink generator, pink dye generator, um, for next to utilities. But B, um, oh, it is working. I'm not able to see anything at the moment. Yep, Minecraft monster egg. That is not stone. That is a silverfish. It's a silverfish. Oh. Humanity. Woe is me. Where, oh where, shall I ever find stone? Oh, I know. I'm swimming in it. <laughs> we have a ton of lava. And a ton of water. And you people are wondering where to find stone. Yeah, some of you probably already figured out I was going to go, oh, what the heck were you thinking you drawn? <laughs> What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking you're a lunatic. <laughs> okay. Maybe that grass. I don't think it dropped anything. More grass. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You mean you, you may be thinking, oh well yeah, we just need to like grab some seeds and whatnot. No, no. Actually I'm hoping for a lucky clover. I want dirt. 
there's lucky clovers in this mod, and um, well, if I get lucky, I may get some dirt. Okay, if I'm not so lucky, I'll probably be overrun by lava at some point in the near future. Um, yeah, that's going to be a lovely little flaming tower. They're like moving. <laughs> It's only going to be daytime for so long. Yeah, end stone. See? End stone. I told you it was end stone. All those people who are going, no, why would it be end stone? Because I set it to end stone. I told you it was end stone. Now you can believe me. That is a funny looking purple flower. Yeah, I know. I know. It's horrible. It's horrible. This is why it takes me so long to actually, like, look at things. Okay? And I'm not even, like, a full user yet. I, I actually <clears throat> haven't quite purchased my own copy of Minecraft just yet. Um, trust me, it is on my to-do list. But, um, yeah, because of that, I can't even do like a vanilla load where like I just build a super flat world with like one layer of bedrock and all nine yards. Oh, look, food. <laughs> oh, I want that one. That's hemp. I want the hemp. I do want hemp. Okay, that's going to be the most useful seed I could possibly find is that hemp seed. That's sweet corn. No, no, no. Give me that hemp. Give me the hemp. There we go. Now let's see about turning. Because <laughs> I don't feel like walking right in the bottom. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll pass on. Don't need lava. Can I run, please? Please and thank you. Everything else is secondary. I have what I need now. Now, I need dirt and an oak tree. And preferably not to find my way to the nearest hungry node. First, I'm going to open up Journey Map because I really need a map. I get lost so easy, there's a reason I have it, okay? Really, there is. There is a huge reason I have Journey Map installed. <laughs> okay. My character gets tired, and yeah. Okay, so we've got this one. Oh, I need to hurry. Oh, this is gonna suck. Enable mapping. Oh, this is really gonna suck. Go into this one. If it will open. <laughs> This is why I said it was going to suck. <laughs> now you know it's going to suck because it's really going to suck. What I've been doing is while it does all of this stuff that it processes through and it goes, What the heck is wrong with this guy? Why is he running me so hard into the ground? Well, while it's doing all of that and pondering what it should do with its remaining years, I've been watching Minecraft videos from various Hermitcraft players, and I gotta say, some of them are pretty good at, at, at modded, you know? That's what inspired me to make this map so insanely difficult. Not all of them are golden. <laughs> um, currently I'm watching Zoomavoid. I gotta admit, there's some stuff that I learned from him. 
But I also got to admit that in the 26 episodes I've seen so far of him playing Hermitcraft Mod Sauce, I haven't really watched any of his other stuff because I don't really know where that is in relation to some of the other Hermitcraft players. But in the 26 episodes I've watched, I have learned some things. I've learned that he likes to take things at his own pace. You can explain mods to him, and it goes in one ear out the other. You really need to have a good, detailed layout of, like, a plan for him to follow. You tell him, okay, do this, do that, and then you do this, and then you do that, and that will allow you to finally be able to do this super ultimate thing, okay? But then at the same time, he may, he may not want that super ultimate thing. But if you tell him, this will allow you to skip like rabbit holes of crafting. You can do so much more with this. All you have to do is follow the step-by-step -step guide. <laughs> Step one. You need to make this item. And make this item. And this item. And this item. And this item. Once you've made these, like, 50 items, okay? Then, you make this thing in this image, okay? It's really not that complex. This is one layer deep, okay? I have it spread out <laughs> so that you can see this. Just build this. If you can build this, this will make everything you need for the future. That's how he would probably learn Applied Aerogistics too. That being said, I believe he did visit Max base quite a few times. I've seen DMAC's base. DMAC did apply to logistics. <laughs> he did it pretty good, too. He's been doing it for a few seasons by that point. So he knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to, like, spread out. And he knew he had to have it centralized, and he had to have it all planned out, and networked, and color-coded, like, you know, just everything. And why is this still not doing anything? I think my Minecraft lagged out on me again. Uh, so, you know, he, he did good. You know, this is like, uh, this is Mod Sauce, so it's, I think, season three for DMAC. Um, DMAC's been out of the Minecraft scene for quite a while, King Daddy DMAC. He's got good YouTube, though. He's a good YouTuber. You know, he gets excited easily, and he's a pretty good guy, from what I can tell. Uh, he likes playing with other Minecrafters, of course. Um, he prefers it, in fact. Some people are like, well, why don't you just start up like a single player? And it's like, well, that's not really the point. You know, I want to play Minecraft with my friends. These are my friends. You know, I want to play the game with them. And they're not playing it. They're not there. They're just off doing their own thing. Some people quit. Some people, they just never come back. Some people, they told us they weren't coming back. They're instead went off and playing their own thing. That is a lot of lava. I hope I'm not dying. Probably like close to getting burned to death. <laughs> um, no? Maybe. We'll find out in a moment. This is what I was trying to reach. Okay, I want to enable Minimap 1. Why was Minimap 1 not enabled? Oh, because I was using Minimap 2. Yeah, because this one's got like the verbose and all that. Okay. Yeah. So, this is, 
this is basically what I have for my mini map. I know some of you people are always like wondering about your mini map and other people's mini maps and stuff. This is what I use. I show what biome I'm in, my frames per second, mob headings, mobs of course goes with the mob headings. I show myself a reticule so that I can see, you know, the crosshairs, north, south, east, west. Uh, verbose location, which is the coordinates and the names of the coordinates. Any waypoints that I have, the compass, and that's really all I need. Now, it doesn't update very often. It's got a slight see-through pattern. It's not very large. You know, we can do the preview here. But primarily what I was looking for is... Yeah, see? A little bit of transparency to it. It's nowhere near perfect, but it lets me navigate. That's actually what I use it for, is to navigate. I have it set to square. Some people are preferable the rectangle, some people they prefer the circle. I'm the square kind of guy, you know? I like the square. Um, I don't really need a rotating map. I don't need the reticule rotating. I don't need 3D mob icons, you know. I'm simple in that respect. Position, top right. I could change it around, but hey, I like it in the top right. I like to just be able to look up and go, okay, I am getting this many frames per second. I'm in this biome. I'm at this location. Boom. That's all I need to know. You know, the frame has a capacity of 25, which means it's only 25% there. Map is 90% there. Um, smallest font, compass font that I could get, which actually I, I do kind of actually want to increase just a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm near set. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wrong scale, dude. Wrong scale. Why is it on that scale? Thank you. <laughs> Make sure I think I'll set that up too. <laughs> I said two things. Um, that was bigger. Uh, so, I'm part of the map. Oh, this part of the frame. What are you doing there? Okay, so I don't know. Okay, the main thing that I wanted to look at was this. I wanted to look up the switch key just in case I needed it. I can show day, night, um, zoom in, zoom out, toggle it. It's all good. Full screen map shows me mobs, mob headings, player headings, waypoint labels, verbose locations, small icons, self waypoints. But in the purest theme, smallest fonts, I suppose I can do font scale of two. Kind of hard to uh, see, I'm nearsighted, so I do kind of need things a little bit bigger, a little bit more in my face type. Uh, I don't really look at the caves or the animals or anything like that. I do have the web map disabled, so that speeds things up. I do create death points. Uh, this is the only one that I use for waypoints or mapping, so it uses the waypoint manager. Maximum distance is 320 blocks. Um, waypoint beacons, I do not use rotating beam. Font skill to auto hides the label. I could do bold, but in cartography, it does not always map the cave or surface because, well, that's just, eh, that's extra processing. You know, that actually is pretty hardcore in the processor. Um, yeah. It still saves a high-quality display, but 
I don't really need to see the high quality display because as you can see it's really not much difference. No. Um, ignore glass ceiling, so if it's got glass ceiling you'll just see right through it. Okay, show bathymetry, which is the drain of the ocean floor and under the water. So like that lake down there, it maps out under it. Show crops, plants. They do not have plant shadows. Show the surface above the caves. I do not have that. Use transparency, so like glass, glowstone, stuff like that. That will reveal what's below it. Cave lighting. Um, I don't have that checked because that's just extra processing power. I know some people are like, well, no, it maps it out anyway. I know, but if I have it checking to see if the cave is lit, then that is extra processing power. You know? I don't need it checking. I need it just skipping through and showing me the image. You know? Anti-aliasing enhances the shading effect used to show elevation changes. Disabling may improve performance. It does, actually. It really does. Especially on these low-end computers. Square shape, cave distance, minimum, minimum, max, minimum, max. Render delay. I have maximum render delay. 10 seconds between each rendering. So, yeah. <laughs> I have everything set to 1. It only maps out 1 chunk ahead of me, one chunk behind me, so on and so forth. I mean, I suppose I could set it to two, all the way over here, actually. That one's set. That one's set. Advanced options. Announce mod, check for mod updates, hide sneaking entities, record cache statistics. For whether to enable caches to record their statistics might slightly hurt performance if enabled. Unless you're a beta tester, have been instructed to do so. We'll leave it off. Good to know. Uh, auto map pole frequency as infrequent as possible once every 10 seconds for the auto map same for the mobs villagers players animals uh, once every two seconds for myself uh, 10 seconds for the browser I do not have logging enabled uh, one for the map tile render type which is just linear and mirrored I have no idea what this actually does uh, optimize tile map, map tile rendering for your video card if they become blurry values just texture filter plus wrap type I, I don't actually know what that means but um, I would assume mirrored is faster clamp prevents errors um, so I suppose I might want two just in case because I do have kind of a slow computer. But whatever. You know? Seriously, whatever. I don't care. Uh, why does that show white? I am not seeing any white. That's got to be a cloud. Oh man, that's going to be horrible. Uh, maximum players, uh, maximum number of players displayed on radar, larger numbers may cause lag. I really actually don't need more players than myself. <laughs> I really don't. Um, radar range vertical, 8. Um, 8 blocks above me, 16 blocks in any direction. Uh, 4 villagers, 4 animals, 4 mobs. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to set these to 1. All I need to know is that there is a mob. <laughs> okay, I really don't need more than that. I really don't. Anything else, and it's just like, well, okay, there's no mob. That's all I really need to know. Is there a mob hunting? Yes? Okay. Run! <laughs> it's my mindset. It's just like, 
Is it hunting? Yes. Okay, time to haul my butt out of here. As soon as this thing stops freaking lagging. Oh, oh, I'm burning to death. I am burning to death. Listen to that. I'm burning to death. Those asshole lava source blocks. Oh, I wonder how many times I'm going to die before I find grass. I'm just going to keep recording until I find grass. That's my plan. I'm going to keep recording until I find grass. I should not have opened my map with this pot. Hell, should I have? I already know it's that lava in the, on the right there that's probably burning me. Yes, it is. Look at that. All right. Place your bets now. Will I burn to death? My bet's on yes. <laughs> on sidestep, 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 step to your slide. Big gods, man, you're slow as fuck. Player tried to swim in lava. I die. Well, I'm going to leave it at that for a while. Um, but I'm going to say the peaceful. There's my death point. Um, I do have gravestone, so I have a grave. I'm going to set it to peaceful. I'm going to let it finish its processing of the, the indexing or whatever you want to call it. Good thing I called it last time. Um, basically, I'm just going to let it run and that should speed things up quite a bit here. I'm also going to turn off the F3. Because, yeah, that's slowing things down. Believe it or not, it does slow things down to do that. Just having F3 slows things down. Okay? Don't let anyone tell you different. It really does. Just having it open. So, what I'm going to do, I spawned underwater, okay, I'm going to turn off the F3, um, by the way, I spawned with a speed boost, I don't know if you see that there, um, when you respawn, you get a slight speed boost, I'm going to say the peaceful while I just AFK um, in the overworld here. But I'm also going to go into creative, just in case. Game mode one. Sorry for the caps. I know some people get bothered by that. Some people don't. Some people just don't care. I'm actually going to need to get out of the water before I drown, before it actually puts me in creative. Let me try this. Game mode created. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. <laughs> I am apparently suffering massively from lag. Again, monster eggs. Seriously, look, look right up top. It's ID 97 with metadata zero. That's a silverfish. A Minecraft monster egg. That's not stone. Freaking silverfish, man. It's crazy, right? I mean, 
you really never notice just how insanely common they are until you take everything else away and realize that that's the only thing around that's actually stone. <laughs> there is no stone. No, no. It's actually all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, that's good news and bad news. Bad news because it's tanky. That stuff can spread. I've seen what it does. Oh, man. <laughs> that is terrible news. On the upside, I can turn it back into dirt. On the downside, well, it's tame. It'll attack people. It'll spawn things that attack people. It'll change things into things that attack people. Crazy. Crazy. It's tame. I mean, what more do you want? You know, it's crazy. So, yeah. Oh, why did I not notice that earlier? <laughs> Water. Oh, and there's taint over there. It's a taint biome. Oh, great, googly moogly. That was a jungle tree. Oh, nothing updates it. <laughs> that would be massive. Good God. That would be huge. That would be a massive, gigantic mess. Oh god, I know what's going to happen already. Okay, so get this. There's taint vines right over there on the wall. You can see them, right? Those purple vines. They're going to climb their way up that wall, creating taint and spreading taint as they go. And they're pretty fast. They are fast. Taint is not a very slow thing. Okay, when you combat taint, you are combating it. Okay, make a note of that. You do not simply like, oh, I'm going to go clear out some massive chunks of a taint biome. No, you're actually fighting the taint. Okay, whether it be like taint swarms or taint zombies. Really? I know in command. In unknown command. I think one of the mods is screwing. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, okay? 
This is how I'm used to playing it. Okay, you can tell, like, adapted. Got ways of bypassing all kinds of bullshit. Hell. Okay, my game mode has been updated. I'm going to 3 o'clock. Uh, I'm probably going to go online. I don't know. I'm going to go online. At 9. But I won't be done standing here at that point. Uh, I don't know, maybe noon? Go online around noon. This is. I go to a nearby restaurant and like hang out there because at home I get all kinds of distractions. So I like to like, do actual hard work in public places like you know, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, Burger King, stuff like that. And I get a lot done that way. It works really well for me. Some people it may not work all that well works well for me. And that spawns tainted beef. There it does. Wow. This pond is both a lifesaver and a life taker at the same time. Who knew? <laughs> That's craziness. Craziness, I tell you. Um, the tiredness bar up there hasn't gone away in creative. So anyway, I'm gonna tell what this thing is. Crusted taint. Crusted taint. It's a block of taint. To the extreme. If there's tainted squids. Those guys always give me the creeps. Squids. It's weird. They are weird. So anyway, I guess I'll stop recording. Now that I know that this lake is going to try taking my life at some point. Yeah, see? Look, that one's actually made a taint block already. <laughs> Crazy, right? Hmm. Kind of stuff it's up to that. Is that a fossil? I think that's a fossil. What the heck, man? It's not soul sand. That's soul sand, I'll eat my shirt. That is earthen ore. Oh. Okay. That's an error. Mechalution needs to get with the program on their uh <laughs> their, what am I looking at? information there. So anyway, while I'm filling out here, I'm going to grab this. And uh, apparently I won't actually. Or silverfish. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and I'll watch the taint while I pass the time. Oh, look! Or berries! <laughs> no, wait, that's just taint on Insta. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> so, anyway, I shall you guys around. 
still recording. It's still recording. I think it's still recording. Hit the hot key. Still recording or is it stopping recording? Let me see. I'm checking. If it is recording, well then. No, it, it's still recording. Wow. Okay. Try right click. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs>